What's up everybody, I'm a Shopify developer here at Section Store, and one of the most common requests I get as a Shopify developer is to update the existing or create a new hero section for a Shopify theme. We all know that the sections that come with the Shopify themes can be a little bit restrictive, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a custom hero just like these three examples that I've created here to any Shopify theme. These sections work in any theme, free or paid from Shopify. They're liquid code just like your theme so they won't slow down your website. You can install them in just a couple of minutes and you don't need any development experience. For this process I'm using the Shopify app section store. It's completely free to install and there's no subscription. It's a component library with hundreds of different sections for Shopify themes as you can see here. Today I'm looking for a hero section so I've searched for hero. I really like the look of this one, hero24. If we click into the section you can see some more information. The section's a one-time charge of only $9 and as you can see here it's never occurring so there's no subscription. Once you own the section you have it forever and you can use it as many times as you want and as many themes as you want. Once you've purchased the section it'll show up here under my sections. These are all the sections that I've purchased and you can add them to any or all of your Shopify themes in just a single click. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my test data theme and it's now installed. Jumping into the theme editor, you add these sections just like a regular Shopify section. So I'll hit add section and I'll search for the one that I just installed. Here's an example up top that I've created previously and I'm just going to go through and break down the section and all of its components. So we have five or six different blocks here. We'll start at the top with the main settings. These are the settings for the overall section. As you can see here we can add an image for desktop and for mobile and then we have a bunch of settings. What I really love about these sections is that we have a setting for both desktop and for mobile, so you can customize the view depending on where the customer is accessing from. The first thing you want to do is go through and edit all of these settings. So we've got the height, we've got an image for desktop and mobile, max width, alignment if you want the text on the left, the center or the right, more alignment colors, we've got margins for the top and bottom again for desktop and mobile, padding, width, border thickness etc. Moving down to the next component we have the stars rating which is this little block here. If you click into the stars rating again we have images if you wanted to add some images of your customers or maybe your product. We've got sizing for desktop and mobile for the images. Again roundness if you want them square or circular. Border thickness. We have a stars count modifier so you can change how many stars appear in the section. If you have a perfect five stars you can update this. You can edit the stars icon if you wanted to use a different format for the reviews. Again we have sizing for desktop and mobile. The text is all completely customizable again with the fonts, the line height, the margins and you have all your color settings down the bottom so you can get this matching with your brand. The next component is the title. So this text here again very similar settings. So we have customizable text here, a customizable font. You can update this for desktop and mobile independently, line height and then margin or spacing on the top and bottom and of course the colors. The third component here is our subtext, so this text right here, again customizable text, font, you can update the sizes, the line height and the spacing on the top and bottom along with the color. Next we're moving down to our call to action buttons which are these two buttons here. If you don't need both of them you can hide them from the theme, otherwise you customize them independently. So you can change the text on the button, you can change the link, linking either to a collection, a product, a page in Shopify, or you can even put an external link in here if you wanted to redirect your customers to another website. Again much of the same settings, so we have a custom font for the buttons, the sizes for desktop and mobile, padding, roundness on the button, you can change them from square, circular to more square, we have top and bottom margins, and then you have color, hover color, background color, all completely customizable with these easy to use toggles. There's an additional button section and then the final component is this text down the bottom here which is our additional text. This is much the same once again with customizable text, your fonts, your colors, your line heights etc. As you can see these sections have a ton of settings but they only take a couple of minutes to set up, all from within the theme editor just like you would do a regular Shopify section. Once you've gone in here and made all your changes and you're happy, you can go up to the top right corner and hit save. Once you've hit save you can go ahead and preview the theme and as you can see here you've got your custom hero section appearing in your Shopify theme that you installed in just a couple of minutes. You can go back into the theme editor and make changes as needed or keep the section as is. If you have any questions about the sections feel free to reach out through the app otherwise keep an eye on both our channel and the app as we're releasing new sections every day.